Reaction from one school community tonight as the state tackles chronic absenteeism. The Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, otherwise known as DESE, has put out a public outreach program in place to raise awareness on the issue. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri joins us live in studio after getting answers from one of the schools on the state's priority list. Reagan. Chris, I caught up with the vice chair of the Holyoke School Committee today. She tells me she isn't surprised to see Holyoke schools on the list and is hopeful this new effort will help curb attendance issues as long as it doesn't affect the state's decision to potentially end the district's receivership. The Massachusetts Department of Education has rolled out an initiative to curb chronic absenteeism, and many Western Mass schools are on DESE's priority list for improvement, including nearly every Holyoke public school. The names of those on your screen. Any extra attendance and support we can get from the state, um, any extra attention uh, through the state's new campaign with their social media and their advertisement can only help. Vice Chair of the Holyoke School Committee, Aaron Burnell, tells Western Mass News that Holyoke Public Schools, as well as many other schools across the Commonwealth, have struggled with absenteeism following the pandemic. We went from encouraging families to stay home if they had, you know, a minor cough or cold in case it was COVID, to now, you know, re-messaging and encourage families to be proactive but to not necessarily keep their kids home unless they, they're testing positives. Brunel says absenteeism has been a topic of discussion at almost every school committee meeting she's attended, adding it's something the district has been working on for quite some time now and will continue to work to get numbers up with initiatives like award ceremonies that honor good attendance and retraining the mindset on sick days following the pandemic. She adds that it's important to keep in mind these numbers do not represent the schools following the rezone project, which she believes has helped to drive up attendance. Now that we have dedicated elementary and dedicated middle school, we're really focused on providing that quality middle school experience and building up our middle schools to make kids as ready as possible for high school. Meanwhile, Holyoke Public Schools has petitioned to exit the state's receivership that went into effect back in April of 2015. Western Mass News wanted to know if she felt this would impact the commissioner's decision. I mean, it's definitely a factor, as are many other factors in his decision-making process. Brunel tells us, based on previous conversations with the commissioner, she feels that they will consider where Holyoke Public Schools are right now, as well as what they're doing and the momentum they're getting to drive attendance numbers in the right direction. And she feels the district is ready to fend for themselves and have some freedom in their education process. We still have problems that haven't been solved, and clearly they don't have the magic ball and answers to solve these problems. Brunel tells me they expect to hear from the commissioner on February 2nd with his final answer on their petition to end the nine-year-long receivership. For a link to Desi's website where you can see the full list of priority schools in Massachusetts, head to our website, westernmassnews.com. Just click on the blue As Seen on TV button. Reporting live in studio, Reagan Locri for Western Mass News.